Hey there, I'm Robin from Free Events and I'm one event and ticketing platform for WooCommerce. And in this video walkthrough, I'm gonna show you how to set up a bookable virtual event using Free Events and Zoom. And what we're gonna do is create a product in WooCommerce and enable Free Events functionality. We're then going to set up a booking criteria that your customers will be able to select. So like the date and time of the class that they wanna attend. And once they go through the checkout process and make payment for that class, they'll receive a ticket. So to make things a lot easier for us uh, and to speed things along, I've already set up a basic product for Pilates class, but you know you could use the exact same approach for a yoga class, an art class, or any other service where you're offering uh, bookable time slots that you and your customers would uh, engage in uh, via Zoom. So let's have a look at the product. Right, so yeah, we have a virtual Pilates class. I've got the standard fields completed, so we've. Uh, selected a bunch of categories, we've uploaded some product images, and we've also set the price. It's currently set to rands. I'm based in Cape Town, South Africa, and that you know that would of course be your the the currency of your country, um, which is managed through WooCommerce. We also set it to virtual and downloadable. Uh, reason being is when a person completes the order, we wanted to automatically send uh, the the ticket to them, and uh, for free events to do that, the order status has to be changed to complete because that's the actual trigger that we use. Then scrolling down, if we go to event settings, this is now the free events functionality that uh, you'll start configuring to, to create your bookable uh, event. We've enabled uh, this product as an event and it's currently set to single, that's the default status. That's for like a once-off event, uh, like a conference or um, a concert. Uh, we're gonna make a bookable event, so you'll select this option over here. It'll hide some of the fields you don't need. Uh, some of these you still don't need to complete, like uh, if you're only doing a virtual event and it doesn't have a physical component, um, then you can leave the GPS coordinates and Google map coordinates and directions empty. You can then just complete your uh, phone number and email address. Then scrolling down, uh, there are two options that we'd like to, to have a look at for a bookable event. Um, specifically, we want to display booking slots and dates on product pages. Uh, by default, they're only displayed on the checkout page. So we want to make sure that they're also uh, included on the product pages. And then I like to choose the date uh, to slot option first. And what that means is in the drop downs that are going to display on your product page, it's going to display the date drop down first and then the slot. Right, happy with those settings. Uh, I've already completed most of the ticket settings, they're fairly standard. Uh, it's your email subject, the logo and header image, some information you want to include on it. But there are a few options that are quite important. You could probably uh, just check all of these. They just include things like the attendee details, the add to, uh, to calendar button uh, to, the, to the actual ticket, as well as adding the ICS file. You wanna display the date and time, the barcode, the price. And then these two are related to bookings and virtual events. You wanna display the booking details on the ticket, and you wanna display the Zoom meeting and webinar details on the ticket as well. Uh, we'll just uh, we're going to send these to the attendee rather than the purchaser and you want to make sure that's enabled otherwise your tickets won't send right next up is the booking settings so how how free events works is you create a slot and then you choose what slot what days that slot needs to be available on so we're going to create a morning slot and we're going to add it to a few days uh, let's do every wednesday and friday We'll do that for two weeks. You can, of course, change this to, to whatever your criteria is. And we're gonna set our stock limit, which is essentially the number of people that can purchase tickets for that particular slot to 50. So this is a class of 50 students, in other words. If you're offering one-on-one -on -one consultations, like a therapy session or a doctor consultation, you can just set this to one, and then only one person will be able to book that slot. Next is to enable the Zoom functionality. So this is actually pretty easy. You just enable Zoom here. You choose the time of the slot, um, and then you just choose auto-generate in the, the meeting dropdowns. You can technically link this to an existing meeting. They're all listed here, um, and you can just pull from your Zoom account, and you can search for any of these meetings here as well if you need to. But for, for this demo, let's auto-generate them. Now, you want to create two more slots, a lunch slot and an evening slot, one afternoon slot. Rather than recreating those all from scratch, we're just going to use the duplicate option, which will save you a lot of time. And then we'll just change the labels and the time. Maybe three total. 
here. And we can save these changes. Great, so what we've got now is three slots, morning, lunch, and afternoon at different times that are gonna be available over these days. You can also, this is optional, you don't have to do it, but you can modify the event terminology. So in this case, I've already changed it. I've changed attendees to students, uh, book ticket to book spot, and I've changed the wording slot to class or classes uh, rather than the default, just so it's a bit more descriptive and uh, a bit more attuned to the specific use case. Um, I've also set up two custom attendee fields, one medical aid number and the other is notes. You know, for Pilates class, this might be in case the person, you know, uh, hurts themselves or has some sort of medical condition, this might come in handy and, you know, notes could be anything they'd want to uh, convey to the instructor. You, of course, would use custom attendee fields however you need to. And then the last thing we'll just have a quick look at is the event integration tab. So this is where uh, a lot of the Zoom meeting and webinar uh, settings are located. For bookable meetings, most of them are, are, are uh, included through the booking settings. You know, the time of the, the meetings, the date that the meetings uh, are available on, are all covered through the booking functionality. So there's not much you need to do here, but do make sure you've selected the appropriate host, because that's the person that will be added as uh, the host of the meeting on your side. So it'll be someone from your, your account. And then the other one is the time. Uh, choose how, the duration of the, the Zoom meetings. So we'll make these, uh, let's make them an hour. Great, now that you've completed all these fields, you can save your product. We're then gonna go through the checkout process just to make sure everything works as we expect it to. So here we have the product with the correct details and we have the date and class selection options. So let's choose April 24th and we'll go to the 2 p.m. class. So we're gonna book our spot. You can see there's currently 50 spots available and we're gonna to go to checkout and complete the checkout process. So if we scroll down, this is all the standard WooCommerce uh, billing details. And if we go all the way to the bottom, we'll see uh, our attendee information as well as the custom fields that we generated. You can also change the booking details here at this point if you need to. So let's enter in some example data and complete the order. Great, so the order's been placed. The site's set to automatically complete uh, the, the WooCommerce orders when they're received. So a ticket would have been generated and sent to my email address. So if we go here, we'll see the standard WooCommerce emails have already come through. If we click on this, we'll see the ticket. And the ticket includes all the details that we captured, including the medical aid number and the notes. It displays the booking information over here, and it also includes uh, the Zoom information, which is when the class will take place, as well as a join link, which um, will save them having to, to try and figure it out. And there's also um, a meeting from Zoom that uh, is automatically generated by Zoom that's been sent to uh, the customer. So there you have it. That's everything you need to know to set up a virtual bookable meeting. There are loads of ways you can configure this based on your specific requirements. Um, I recommend going to our health center, health.whoevents.com, and looking at the use case uh, section. We actually have a use case which outlines this exact event, a Pilates class with very similar configuration. And it takes you through step by step everything you need to know to set it up uh, to a point where you're ready to start selling. So uh, if you have any questions, please also feel free to get in touch with us. There's a contact link on our help center and uh, yeah, feel free to get in touch and we'll help you figure out any issues if, if you get stuck with something. But thanks for watching and good luck.